doing my best. Jack thinks it's my fault that Carly got taken hostage. What do you think? Well, I think we all would have done things differently if we could, but ultimately this, this thing is on no one but Claudia. I could have talked to Claudia in private, but I guarantee you there wouldn't have been a lot of talking going on. So instead, I, I did it in front of, you know, a room full of people, because I knew she'd be trapped, and she'd have to tell the truth. No. Nobody could have known how this was going to play out. Sonny, nobody. You, you, Claudia stepping off the elevator? When she did, Claudia pulling a gun, taking her hostage? Come I knew on. Claudia had a gun. And I was halfway hoping that she'd pull a gun out on me, and somebody would shoot her in self-defense, and she'd be dead. But it's not always that simple. It's not like there's not a room full of people who could wind up as collateral damage. Hindsight is 2020. Wow. Hey, you just you drive yourself crazy with all the would-haves and the, and the should-haves. At the end of the day, Claudia is ruthless. She's devious. I, she's, she's crazy. You know, she gets Michael shot, and then when she's finally confronted with her crime, she goes and she commits another crime, takes Carly hostage. And that, that makes her a coward on top of everything else. Well, that's actually a good thing, because Carly may have the advantage. Hands down, Carly's the bravest person I've known. And I get upset that Jax feels that Carly and my boys belong to him. We have a family history together that he can't touch. Yeah. I've been married to Carly four times. Yeah, that's the one for the record books, I guess. And what amazes me is that I'm not, I'm not even attracted to that type, you know? I mean, it's... She uh, complicates everything. She, she lies when she shouldn't, and she blows her life apart any chance she can get. And who are you? You're the, you're the same functional guy? No, but that's, what, that's where the attraction was, because we're so... We were so messed up. Well, both kept coming back for more, though, so... Well, the thing that I, that I thought that I hated most about Carly, her... Her strength, her fearlessness, and her, the way she fights and swings for the bleachers is what I ended up loving the most. Yeah, I bet that surprised you. You know, the strong, fearless women aren't exactly your type, right? Well, I was always uh, attracted to the... fragile woman. And I guess that had to do with, uh... how my mom was treated and how bad I felt, and, uh, well, maybe I just wanted to save someone. Maybe someone to save you. You certainly fit that bill. Yep, she did. Then, you know, there was my first wife, Lily, and a woman named Brenda. But I, I gotta tell you that I... I love Carly the most. I mean, she had my sons, right? And even when she would drive me crazy, I always admired how she, she put up with me. I trust, I trust Carly completely. Same way I trust you. You know, you've come up in conversation a couple times between Carly and me. Yeah? Mm -hmm. What, what? What, what was said? <laughs> Nothing you don't already know. No, tell me. Uh, Carly loves you. She always will. It's not to say that, that you're not infuriating and frustrating. But, uh, she hasn't been deeply, deeply disappointed in you. And sometimes so mad that she just wanted to strangle you. But uh, at the end of the day, she sees past all the self-destructive garbage. You know, she's, she sees the man you are in your heart, in your soul. She said all that? More or less. What'd you say back? I agreed with her. Underneath all the crap, you're a good man, sonny. It doesn't surprise me that you and Carly get along so well, because you're so alike. <laughs> <laughs> we both drive you crazy. No, you 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 stood up to me. You, uh, gave as good as you got. Oh, past tense now. Well, I think it's different. <laughs> I mean, you know, you don't like or approve of 
what my life has become. But when we were kids... <laughs> we had some good times, didn't we? Well, yeah, some... We had some great times. I mean, you know, we could take risks. We we can do dangerous things. Yeah, we didn't have any responsibilities. We didn't have to think about anybody else. But the thing is, we can't. You can't go back, right? You grow. You change. Can't have what you had. But that girl I once knew. We still got our memories, right? I just wish that there was, you know, we still had something we could hold on to. Something real, something lasting. Hey, you want to?